This is a brief tutorial on using Python to be able to do basic statistical functions of data sets. So I'll open up a IPython notebook and uh, once that loads then I'm just going to navigate to uh, my Python notebook folder and create a new uh, Python 2 notebook. Okay so the first thing that I want to do is just create a fake data set. And in this case, I'll create uh, 10 numbers, random numbers between 0 and 100. So the first thing I'll need to do is just import um, random. And, um, and then I'll create a new vector y. Um, and I want to use the random package. And if I use random uh, function, that's going to create a, uh, a value, a floating point value between 0 and 1. So what I'll do is just multiply that by 100. But I want, um, instead of just one, I want 10 of these. Um, so I'll do for i in range, and then I'll give myself 10 of these. Um, and then let's just go ahead and print y. Okay, so that generated a random uh, number sequence uh, between zero and 100. You can see the random numbers there. Um, maybe we want to um, sort these as well. I'll just do y sort, okay? And, um, and then let's print them, um, maybe in a way that's just a little bit easier to see. So what I'm gonna do is, is do just two uh, decimal points. So I'll do a for loop for i in range, um, and then I'll do length y. And um, in this case, I'll print just two decimal places. So I'll use um, this syntax to say floating point, two decimal places, and for each y, i. Okay, so there's my sorted list um, that I printed out. Um, now what I want to do is um, just do some basic um, statistical functions on this. Okay, I don't need to sort it uh, before I do this. It's just a little bit easier to see that I have uh, the right answer. Okay, so I'll print max y. Um, let me go ahead and print the minimum of y as well. Okay, so you can see those are correct. Um, if I try to do average, uh, there's no built-in function uh, within the base Python. You have to load either statistics package if you're using Python 3.0 three plus, or um, you can use NumPy as well. I'll show you that a little bit later. We need to create a new custom function. Um, I'll just call that AVG, uh, average, with the argument x. So that's gonna be the vector uh, coming in. Um, and then I'm going to return the sum of x divided by the length of x. Okay, so it'll count how many uh, individual elements there are in that vector. So I created a new function. Um, and then when I print the average of y, okay, so I'm gonna give it a new argument y, it's going to plug that in for x into that function, and um, it'll give me my average value. Okay, so let's say we wanna count the number of elements below uh, 50, okay? Um, I'll just say that is um, Z. Now this is a little bit. This is a little bit of syntax here that you may not be familiar with. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just say Z equals um, one if I is less than fifty. Okay. Else um, zero for I in Y. Okay. And then we'll print uh, Z as well. Okay. It'll be a, a vector of uh, zeros or ones. Okay, and then I'll, if I do the sum of z, um, just sum of z and then print sum of z, um, then I'll have four of those elements. Okay, so uh, if you look up here, I had four of these that were below um, the value of 50. Okay, but I can do this all in one line if I want to. I can say, um, let me just print here. Um, I'll print um, the number below 50, 
Okay, and then uh, I'll create a string. Uh, so this inside here is going to be a number, but I need to convert that into a string so they'll concatenate or or mesh together. Um, and so I'll just write sum one if uh, i is less than 50, uh, else zero for i in y. Okay, so let's try that. Um, so there's the number below 50, it's four of them. So um, we can build, use these built-in statistical functions within Python. Uh, there's another error package called NumPy um, that has a lot of these as well. For example, I had to define AVG, um, but within Python, um, you know, the extended uh, this, this package, this NumPy, you have a lot more of these functions that you can use. So let's go ahead and import uh, numpy as np. Okay, if I didn't do as np, then I just have to do numpy dot uh, for these subsequent uh, lines. But I can do uh, condense that by just doing np. Okay, so let's do print um, and we'll do np uh, mean of y. Okay, so that'll be our first one just to verify that we got the same value as AVG as above, which was 57.15, which we do. Um, let's go ahead and print, um, let's see, the next one, uh, print np dot um, average. It'll give you the same thing as the other one. Okay, so you can use either mean or average. Uh, let's do the standard deviation as well. Okay, STD for that. Um, and okay so there's our standard deviation um, of the sequence y and we can do the median for example um, see so let me do print again okay print median of y okay so there's the median um, let's also you know we could also do the number below 50 as well um, but we uh, showed that um, right here. Okay, so just a couple NumPy packages as well. Um, and again, just to review, this is um, basically just an example where we created a random vector y and then sorted it um, and then ran a couple of statistical functions uh, either within Python itself or within the Python package uh, NumPy.